currently cold as heck in Atlanta right now. And so it's either high energy bill or baby blanket. But <laughs> so as you saw in the cut scene, I've been looking at my desk setup. I've been looking at um, my monitor arm, which is the, I think it's the compass, blue compass. I'll put the link in the bottom. It's been, it's been great for like a year. One of the reasons I, I switched to the um, more of the lavalier style microphones more often than not is because with my current boom arm, it's never really in the right, you know, viewpoint. Like as soon as I have it in the, in the, in the screen here, it blocks my face. Uh, it, I can't do like an unboxing with this because, right? Also one of the things as you saw from my desk setup is that because I use such a large monitor and a Sono sound bar, I can't have my boom arm from the back of the desk coming forward and over because it like the screen's too big. It can't go up and over the screen. And we're gonna be doing a 2022 desk setup video that I will put out in the next two weeks. Um, so let's jump into the unboxing. Okay, so let's jump into the box here and see what we got. Got some tape on the bottom there. Mm-hmm. All right. So on the bottom of the box, you can see the different components of the, the low profile and there's even a mount to make it higher or you can have it low to the desk or you can have it higher. There's the different ways of support there. And then it also comes with, I believe, a mount where you can attach a few different accessories to it as well. So let's get in here. Inside here, of course, you have the, you got a sticker, you gotta have a sticker. If they're not giving you a sticker, they're not giving you your money's worth. Um, and then you have a quick guide here of how to set that up, which we're going to need. Um, this is just for cable management, but you see the different parts of quarter eighth. Um, you see the different parts of the boom arm when you get in here, there's a desk clamp there. Hope there's some felt in there to protect my desk. Different size for connections. Metal with plastic underneath. Let's see what the second layer has for us. Yep, so here's the mount where you can attach your camera. It's like a you can attach a light, you can attach a camera and different things like that. It's kind of hard to say like what each piece is. All of it is a piece of the mount, different, see different uh, accessories that allow you to use the mount. So let's get this set up. And then from there we will go, cause I'm looking in this box like, what the hell is that? <laughs> so let's get it set up. short one there or you can install the tall one and so the tall one is going to add that much more height but for now we're going to go the lowest possible Add on the mic mount at the end. It's like a little ball joint that goes around the goes around the end there. And so one of the cool things you can see here is that there is that raceway underneath that allows you to run the cable from the end there. And so it's very minimal cable showing, and if it is, it's underneath it as opposed to the top of it, which for us aesthetic folks looks a little bit better. So if I wanted a traditional height, then that is how I would have it set up. 
but since I want the low profile, I'm going to turn over the ball joint and change the orientation. Okay, so this is what it would look like in scene, right? So like up close and personal, like I could have it sitting here, I could have it down lower and just turn the gain up and that way you would barely see any of it. I mean, I can, I can basically move it completely out of frame. Um, the boom arm sits in a perfect position that if I'm gaming, if I'm doing voiceovers and I'm working on my keyboard, it's not in the way right now but the nice thing about it is that this is adjustable and so i can raise this up you know and change the way that the mic is sitting you know however i would like and you know and give myself that perfect situation that i want you know based on the way that i'm using this boom arm and so i like the fact that it swivels completely out of the way it's 360, it can swivel in any direction. I can, I can move this around. Um, so depending on the type of microphone that you're using, this is an end address dynamic microphone, but if I had a vertical mount microphone, I could do the same thing. I could have it vertically mounted. And then when I'm done, I can easily, I don't know why my hands were doing all that, but then when, <laughs> when I'm done, I can completely move it out of the frame 100% and not worry about you know, it being there. And this adapter goes on the end of the mount here. Now this adapter gives you a standard thread at the end of that to which you can then add this included clip. And so now I can add my cell phone in the event that I want to do vertical content. I can add a light source. And so now I have my camera set up and yeah, I know it's bright in my, I understand it, but I have my camera set up, my phone set up, and then I have a light here. I can also do vertical video there as well. So now I have a vertical or horizontal video set up with the light again right there in my face, and that is super bright, so I'm taking one for the team here. You can also use it on the end there, and you can, and then again, with this little trusty mount here, you can move it this way and different things like that. If you want to get extremely creative with this, it can hold up to 4.4 pounds and that's 2.6 kilos or something like that. Kilograms, America still uses old metric systems, but 4.4 pounds, you would take off this whole assembly here and then you're gonna slide on this plate. Boom. And so now you have this plate here that you can use. And because of the weight capacity, I'm gonna add, this is a Zoom Q, uh, QN, <laughs> what is this? A Zoom Q8N 4K camera. And then I can add the light back on. There we go. So now I have a camera set up I have a light, let me show you can see this here. I got camera, light, or camera, light, and stereo sound through Zoom with the ability to add in two more XLR microphones. So the Thron Max S6 boom arm, low profile, adds a lot of functionality, a lot of customization, a lot of various options that you can add to your content creation or setup, and it does it in a really nice, well put together frame that looks really good let me know your thoughts as always stay cozy in that crazy world and i will see you in the next video peace